All right. Yeah, yeah. I've I've seen enough of this one. I thought you guys promised me the best goods. But so far I've only seen trash. And honestly, it's it's not surprising. Have y'all seen this? Like, come on, look at it. Look at it and tell me it does not belong on the street. Yeah, like I said, bring along the new one. My expect my expectations aren't high. Now oh Oh wait. This one This one's actually quite interesting. What's your name? Alright, boys, where did you find this one? Right on, right, right on the streets. Actually, huh. And still, you're the only one here that doesn't look like you belong on the streets. What's up with that? Do you have any idea who your parents are? No clue. Huh. Alright, well, this is interesting. Uh, come closer. No, oh, come on now. Don't be shy. I know I... I know I might look a bit intimidating, but... You don't have to be scared. I won't bite. Unless you want. Yeah, alright. That's alright. They dressed you up quite well. I'm assuming the clothes don't belong to you, personally. Right, right. Alright, do you have any other personal belongings with you that go with you? You don't? Well, that's too bad, but I guess we can work with that. I'll just... I could hypothetically take you in, buy you the clothes you need... The additional apparel for my pleasure. Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. You know why. And you know why you're here. Alright, please and slowly turn around for me. Come on. I want to see every angle. And I just have to make sure I'm paying for my goods. And that everything is prime quality. Like these rats had promised me. Alright, alright. Not that bad. Alright. I'm gonna ask you to, uh, remove the glasses. Yeah, I know. Alright. Mmm. Such a pretty face. Such a pretty face. Tell me, do you have any experience in any fields? Something that could make you useful? Maybe you know how to handle a gun or any experience with, well, trade. None that... Hmm. Time on the streets, huh? Actually looking good. Uh, don't answer. I think I'm actually starting to like this one. Alright. You could have tried to make their hair a little bit less messy, but they're actually pretty good looking. Alright. Now, gotta make sure of something. Mm, Alright, come on. Come on. <laughs> well, well, for someone of the streets, you smell remarkably well. Your skin is actually quite soft. Do you manage to buy any luxury goods somehow? You didn't. You're telling me this is all natural. Good. That means I won't have to do as much maintenance. Alright. Alright guys, tie it up for me. I'm taking this one home. <laughs> Come on, don't struggle now. 
You've been so good so far. Don't worry, I'll treat you so well. You'll be like my little pet. And you'll love it in the house. It's, it's quite spacious. Heck, maybe even I'll give you your own room. Although it's not like I'm giving you any personal space anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, I think this one's gonna be it. To think I've been searching for such a long time and you just... Pick one off the street and... It's... Great. What's it gonna cost? Oh, come on, don't work me off, it told me. It told me it's from the streets. Should've been free for all of you. Just... Take it, here. Drop it. Puff it off. I'm willing to pay the transfer fee as well. And the clothing you've used to the doll it up. Don't play games with me now. You guys know the power I have in this area. Alright, just be generous and I'll give you a thousand additional. Alright, you got a deal. My boys will deliver the cash to you tomorrow. Well, half of it. I will... I'll take it home. Get it checked manic medically and... Once the check is done, you guys get the additional half. Alright? Good. Now, I think we're done here. Oh, yeah. Alright, pack it up. Oh, you sweet little thing. You have nothing to worry about. We'll be gentle. I promise. Alright. No. Let's go home. Hi there, sweetie. Now, tell me, do you think you're ready to go to the party? You think you are? Right. Alright. Okay. Um, stand up for me. Oh, come on. Don't make me wait. Oh, good. Good. Alright, now, just do a little spin for me real quick. Okay. Now, look into the mirror for me. Just take it in. <laughs> First of all, I just want to say that it's a good thing that you're in my care now. Because I don't know what else you would do in life, honestly. How, how did you survive out in the streets, anyways? I took you in my care. Seriously. Hmm. Any anyways, when you look into the mirror, first of all, we see this beautiful person, of course. But second of all, you look like I just freshly picked you up off the streets again. How did you think that Something that belongs to me will join me at a formal party. <laughs> and to be presented like this. This isn't just about you, you know. This is about me mostly, but... You see, you are technically mine. And you are, like, an accessory. And I don't mean that in the derogatory way. You... You know I adore you. You're the sweetest thing I've ever had. But, still, in the world we live in, you're just an accessory. So I need to make sure that you're beautiful and presented. Presentable, at least. Which, currently, you are not. So, let's start with the outfits. <sighs> Alright, lose the Peggy pants. They honestly, no, I know. I'll I'll get those burnt later. 
Do you think they're comfy, Will? Too bad, I guess. <sighs> oh, come on. I want you to look pretty for me. Anyhow. News defense. Come on. Quickly. Don't be shy. I already saw you without any clothes on. <laughs> there you go. You are... You really are so beautiful. It's... You look... Stunning. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm getting so distracted again. Alright, now... A hoodie. Yeah, really. I guess it's comfortable, but... Who even gave you these clothes? I thought I had selected some outfits I'd want you to wear. You... Suck... Ugh. I don't have time to worry about this. Here, we'll tackle over this. Later, alright? Now you just can't... You can just sneak in clothes. How do you not understand this? Again, I don't want to fight right now. I just don't want to get upset, so put off the hoodie. Alright. There you go. Jeez. Fine. Alright. Now. One second. I don't want you to put on anything else just yet. Just do another circle for me. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> oh my, oh my. You do make me so happy. <laughs> okay. I, um, I gotta pick an outfit for you now. Good, well, let's think. Um, I kind of like... Ooh, I like this one. That one, it's like a navy blue outfit. It's, it's kind of sleek, but stylish and revealing enough. Suits your position. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Don't make yourself out to be better than you really are. I adore you, but love can only get so far when you're mine. Anyhow, put it on. I want to see what it looks like. Like, on you. Hmm, good. Good. Alright. I like this. I, I think we'll just go with this one. Alright. Alright, well done. Now, for some reason, you haven't fixed up your hair yet. How long was I gone? It must have been like six hours and you went from like a full online to looking like a five. Sweetie, you, you gotta look presentable at all times. In any case, <sighs> come closer. No. On your knees for me. What? It's only out of convenience. I don't get any pleasure out of this. Not at all. Alright? Good. Now, I don't think you have any knots, but... I'll just brush through it and install it a little. So, so you look good. Alright? Man. There. Alright. You have such little self-care. Are you... You better be using the products I bought you. I can assure you that they are the best. And with all the money I have, you have to spend it on something. And, oh, well, you are definitely one of my favorite things to spend on. I like dressing you up like this. Buying you different things and different outfits to see... How they look on you. It does feel... Like my money's actually going to use. I hope it's very, very clear that currently you are in, in possession of literally nothing. 
but that's okay, because I'll take care of you. And just remember, everything you own is mine, because you're in my care. Now, let's continue. <sighs> there. Alright, that looks good. And you... And you smell good, surprisingly. Did you shower? You did. Without my permission. Oh, come on. You know I wanted to join you. <laughs> Next time, just let me know, alright? And... Well, actually... Good, I, th I, I think we're done for now. I think we're ready for the party. Yeah? Alright, you ready? <laughs> Alright, let's go, sweetie. Alright, now, before we enter, I would like to set a couple of rules in place. Alright? Well, because these people are dangerous. I mean, so am I, but you know I won't ever hurt you. Alright? Okay. Alright, now you're gonna have to listen to all of those rules. Okay? You're gonna have to listen to me. Is that clear? Okay, I'm not going to be tolerating any misbehavior today. You're going to be guided outside of the party. If you don't comply with me. Okay? <clears throat> because I hope you understand that to these people you are nothing more than, than an accessory which belongs to me. Which means that you are to behave as something that belongs to me. Alright? Okay. So, everything I say, you will do now. Rule number one is that you will shut your mouth unless someone directly asks you a question. Okay? Alright. So that's rule number one. No. Rule number two is that you will stay close to me at all times, and I will keep my arm over you to make sure that you're not going anywhere. And even when we're sitting down, you will sit next to me. If there's no place you will sit, you will sit on my lap. Alright? So, you won't leave. And so that you won't leave my sight for a second. Okay. Now, at this place, we're kind of, like, high status. That's why I made you dress up, and while looking so incredibly, incredibly good. Um, <laughs> but it also brings along some things for you. For example, you are of higher standing currently than the staff, than the staff working at this party. So they are supposed to follow up from your orders. This isn't a role. It's more like maybe just a gift. So you can feel free to ask them whatever and they will do it. Just don't be unreasonable. Okay? Alright. Now, let's go. <sighs> Alright. Hi, Dad. Hi, so, where's our room? In the back as usual. Alright, thanks. Come on, sweetheart, follow along. There you go. We're walking that way, okay? Good. Now just relax, okay? Nothing bad will happen. I promise. As long as I'm here, nothing's gonna happen to you. I have guards surrounding this whole place. You're gonna be fine. Come on, smile for me a little. You're so pretty when you smile. 
There you go. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Hi guys, so um, allow me to introduce to you my new pet. <laughs> Aren't they just adorable? I know. So this is where I'm sitting? Alright. There, come sit down. Right next to me. <laughs> there you go. Now, we do have some business to discuss. Which we are supposed to have today, but technically speaking, this is a party, so I suggest we party a little. <laughs> First, um, what kind of alcohol? Alright. Give me one of your most expensive. <laughs> you do like that right, sweetie, right? Alright, you do. Okay, fetch me that one. Oh, you... Why do you have to go to the restroom right now? I told you to go at home. <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. I'll stay here, alright? One of the servants can guide you to wherever you need to be. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Alright, where were we? Business. Right, right. Um, so I have a shipment which is going out today. It should arrive in about a week, and if there are no complications. But I don't think there will be any. I made sure that this one's safe as safe as possible. At least in this business. And seeing that the shipment is filled with some very rare and high quality goods i was wondering if any of you guys were interested right you don't have to buy the whole shipment it is preferred but you don't got to of course you'll be able to get it for a bit of a lower price if you buy the whole thing but it doesn't have to be sold so i can sell it it's um um in my own honesty, this is sort of a etiquette to hold up the friendship <laughs> between our groups, of course. If any of you are interested, um, oh, right, right, Alex, um, how much? Mmm, that's good. Okay, I'll make sure it gets delivered to you. Maybe a week in three days, just about. <clears throat> All right, I'll... Then you'll get to me the money in about a week and two days. Is that possible? Should be about... Two million? Okay. Lovely. Where... Wait. Where is that pet of mine? <sighs> oh my... They told me to make it quick but will you excuse me for a second i gotta i gotta go fetch it <laughs> thanks I'll, I'll be right back where the fuck have you been i told you to make it quick what do you mean you got lost Ugh. i'm sorry you did what I told you not to talk to anyone except from when you were asked a question. Oh my god, I didn't mean a question from anyone. I have to be there to check that you're not answering the wrong thing, sweetheart. Fuck's sake, what was even so important that you wanted to talk to them? You're mine, okay? I'm not sure if you're aware or how this works, do I have to remind you that I picked you up off the streets. I gave you a life. So that makes you mine. Oh. Oh, my. 
Why? You're telling me not to get mad. Are you kidding me? Bring me that person. Come on, hurry up. Oh, wow. So... It was... It was Rachel. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Hi, Rachel. I'm sorry to intrude on you in any way, but I heard you were talking to... My pet. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm kind of curious. Uh, what were your intentions? because I'm fairly certain that you must recognize the symbol on that outfit of this one is in my possession. So I'm kind of curious, what, what made you think that you were allowed to talk to my pets? Oh, wow. Okay, now you're apologizing. Now you're apologizing. You know what? This is even more pathetic. You're not even standing up for yourself. No, I know I should have crushed your little groupie gang years before. You've crossed the line, Rachel. You've crossed a damn line here. I've got guys surrounding this building. And the second you step foot outside, you're going to be apprehended. And I know that little gang isn't doing all too well. How many members do you have? Like 10, maybe? And how much debt did you have to do? Huh? What'd you have to do to get invited to this party in the first place? What did your dad give you an invite? Right. <laughs> well, I guess your dad will have to try and pick you up for my guys then. <laughs> You're not going to get away with this. <sighs> well, if you excuse me, I have to get back to people that actually matter. <laughs> All right, Rachel, you just you just stay here and process, and you follow me. <sighs> You're so. I set these three rules. Actually, scrape number three. That was just fun information. I said two rules that you were able to be obedient. And technically speaking, you followed. You know what I meant. I'll deal with you later at home. But for now, we're going to go back. You're going to pretend like nothing happened. And so am I. All right. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'll just take a deep breath and I'm gonna go back in there. <sighs> Alright, um, I'm sorry. I just listen to me, okay? It's not that hard. Come here. <laughs> there you go. Now behave and let's go back. Hi there. Um, sorry guys, thanks for, uh, <laughs> thanks for waiting. But yeah, that back to business, yeah. <sighs> oh, um, hello. Um, you woke me up. What, what's happening? Y you can't sleep. Uh, how is that my problem? I'm, I have work tomorrow. Oh, oh, hey, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, are you okay? Um, what, what happened? You had a nightmare. Oh. I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, are you... Uh, how... I'm sorry, I'm... I'm not good with these. Th these things, um, aren't really my... 
I'm not really used to someone else sleeping with me in my room, so would you maybe in light bench? I don't know. I'm. I just never had this. Just get in here. Just, just get in. <sighs> oh come on! Don't be shy. This isn't the moment to be shy, you know. You're so cute when you're always being so cautious when it comes to coming closer to me. I wonder why. You have nothing to hide with that pretty face of yours. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still a bit sleepy. I'm just spewing nonsense. Anyway, get your... <laughs> Get your ass over here. <laughs> good. Good. There you go. That's better. Alright, so if you're gonna come over here, you understand that some clothing might have to be removed. <laughs> um, purely convenience. Trust me. Because you see my, um, my bench is a little closer to the radiator. I prefer not to be cold at night, so I recommend you lose some clothes. I know that's something to be shy about. <laughs> Alright, so now... First, those events place and they look way too badly on you. I'll get you new ones later, but for now, just remove them. <laughs> <laughs> Good, there you go. You can just put them down on the floor, or a chair, and I don't really care. Well, if my stuff... Uh, well, if my stuff take care of it tomorrow, alright? My staff will handle it, and that's it, okay? Just come here. Uh, excuse me. You want me to turn around. Sweetie, that's not how this works. Come on, I said put it off. <laughs> good, good. Now, you're still wearing something. Okay, I won't ask you to remove any additional clothing. I guess I would, could still prefer to be wearing something for now. For now, that is. <sighs> Alright, well, come over here. <sighs> Good. Now, before you enter, I want to kind of relive a memory. Um, turn around for me. In a little circle. Slowly. Good. <laughs> Reminds me the first day I saw you. I instantly knew that I'd have to get you, and you needed to be mine. So I bought you. Now you're mine? Isn't that just lovely? <laughs> Alright, now that I've seen you from heads to toe, from front to back and side to side, you're allowed to get in the bed now. I'll move, I'll move. Don't worry. Hey, it's okay. Come on. Come on in here. There you go. You comfortable? Hmm. How are you feeling? Still a bit anxious. That's okay. Um, okay, so I've been told that you'd have to take some deep breaths, yeah? There you go. <sighs> Good. Um, good. Okay. So that takes some deep breaths. There you go. And you can come a little closer to me, if you'd like. I could wrap my uh, arm around you once. I don't know, maybe that would help. It would. Okay, so closer. There you go. 
<laughs> Hi there. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. You're safe. I promise it's gonna be a-okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, like I said, I'm... I'm just, you just woke me up, so I'm a little sleepy, so I'm a little... Just spewing nonsense. But, just relax, okay? Just listen on, listen to my voice, and you can lean on me. Okay? There's nothing to worry about. You'll save it. I'll protect you, and you know that. You're mine, and so it will be negligence of me not to protect you and take good care of you, right? Exactly. So, do you know why you couldn't sleep? Oh, you had a you had a nightmare, and you couldn't sleep. Wow, rough night. Hey, all right, hey, hey, it's okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't joke about that. All right, so tell me. Why, well, let's start off with the nightmare. What was it about? Dreams that I would dump you. And that I wouldn't need you anymore. Oh, sweetheart. You poor thing. <laughs> hey, you're in my arms right now. You're realizing that you can feel me. You can see me. You can see me, can't you? You can hear me. I'm not going anywhere. Neither are you. Unless I want you to. But I'll make one promise. I don't want you to feel these things. Never, and well, frankly, I don't think you're ever going to be able to pay off your debt to me. If you, Even if you wanted to, I don't think you want to. It's nice here, right? Me taking care of you. You're getting to wear the most beautiful things for me. You're saving. You will also be so... There's no need for you to go back to the life you had. It's all gonna be fine. I promise. How are you feeling now? It's a bit better. Yeah? <laughs> Even if it's just the tiniest bits, I'll be I'll, I'll release these unhealthy feelings you're having. <laughs> Good. Um, here, and I'll... I'll give you a little kiss. <laughs> Maybe we should spend more nights together like this more often. I admit it's kind of nice, but... <laughs> just having you here with me in my bed. Just being together, not really doing anything, just... I enjoy your company. I have to admit, I initially bought you for selfish reasons, but I've grown quite attached to you. <laughs> Listen to me being all touchy-feely emotional. That's what you get when you wake me up late at night. I can't think straight. But that's hard anyways when you're around. Oh, no worries. If you want giant kids, I... I, I don't know. <laughs> For you a little longer, maybe... Maybe just wait. Be patient. We'll see where that goes. But if I like this, then maybe for some other nights as well. We can keep doing this. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. Are um, you still comfortable? Yeah? Alright, good. Alright, you, um, if you're gonna say, well, if you're gonna stay, you can, well, stay if you want. Although you're at my event, so I'm just gonna ask you to come closer. You're already pressed up against me. Come on, just lay on your side for me. Come on, just do it. I won't hurt you. I promise. <laughs> 
Good, good. All right. <laughs> Don't I get scared? Watch. Ready? There you go. I got you. Wrapped around both my arms. We're in my bed. And it's just me and you. No need for you to feel negligence or feel scared. I'm here now. And you can you can go to sleep. Alright. <laughs> Good night. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> oh. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I... <coughs> I try to sleep peacefully. I... I like to sleep in my room. Even in my bed from time to time. And how do I get thanked for that? <sighs> You reward me with your presence. You crank open that window when it, it's freezing outside. <coughs> and now I've kind of cold. Do you have any idea how much of an inconvenience this is to, like, the whole organization? The whole gang is suffering now. Because I can't <laughs> do anything because of you. Because you just... <sighs> oh my, how, and how are you not sick? What? <sighs> this is, this is so unfair. Oh gosh, I, I feel so bad. Could you check my fever again? Is it, is it still high? Oh, it went up. <clears throat> I swear, if I could move properly right now, I would kick your ass. Politely. <laughs> yeah, just give me some painkillers, okay? And my head is killing me. Thanks. F and fortunately, you don't have anything to do except for be in my presence, so hereby you are my des uh, designated caregiver. Gosh, this feels terrible. I have so much to do. You know, I actually had like a really big deal coming up and I had this meeting I had to go to. I was going to make a ton of money and you ruined it. It's not like I can go to like an online meeting. That's not how this shit works. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I shouldn't be cursing. I know. Just, I'm... I'm a little out of it, and in a lot, a lot of pain, okay? Just get me my painkillers, please. <sighs> Thank you. Gosh, this is kind of ironic, isn't, isn't it? I can't believe that I'm terrible at swallowing pills. <clears throat> Alright, one, two... Oh. oh, gosh, that's dis that's disgusting. I hated every second of that. Oh, it still lingers in my mouth. You know, gosh, that's so bitter. No, I don't want something to eat. Can't you see that I am nauseous? And how did I get so sick from literally just opening a window? This is your fault. Okay, y you know, could you, you know, 
join me in the bath things apparently you're immune to whatever illness I'm suffering from right now so you don't need to worry about getting sick yourself even if you were to get sick I mean what important position would you even feel if I wouldn't take care of you if you were sick I'm leading a damn mafia and you you're mine <laughs> just since you're immune we can bathe later but since you're immune to whatever sickness I have lay in bed with me I know I said last time was the only was the last time but I'm not good at keeping promises so come here <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of a feverish show. I'm a little hot to the touch, probably. But, um, I'm always hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so mad at you for, you know, getting me sick. But thanks for taking care of me. That's sweet of you, really really sweet I'm sorry I uh, I can't take care of you <laughs> right now but on the other hand I feel like you can take care of me and you've kind of gotten the hang of things while well, taking care of me and just getting the hang of things around here <clears throat> oh man I'm <sighs> it's good that you know how things work here now and you can take care of yourself a little so that's good and it makes me really happy like you are kind of you know finding your place and I hope you feel at home I think I I think you do and you know you were uh, you're a really good comfort I'm already feeling a little better <laughs> now you know like you're lying next to me I told you you don't need to worry about getting sick no come here <sighs> come on it was a little kiss maybe you could ask the staff for a cup of tea or something I'd really appreciate that right now yeah, no sugar, no honey, no milk, just normal thing by itself. All right. It, wait, did you ask for sugar and honey and milk in your tea? You do that? No, I just drink it plain. You have milk and sugar? I mean, I can understand honey, but milk and sugar in your tea... That's, I mean, it's only to be accepted from somebody so sweet. <laughs> what? <coughs> I may be sick, but... <laughs> I can't hold myself off from you. Alright, so... You gonna get me that tea? <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. I'm feeling really tired right now, though. So I might doze off a little bit. But once you have, you can <clears throat> see me awake. Alright, thanks. And, hey, I, um, I love you. And I care about you very much and I'm very glad that you're here taking care of me and in not too long I'll be able to take care of you as well alright now go fetch me that tea <laughs> thank you ah you 
seem to have been dozing off a little. <laughs> it's really, really cute to be able to hold you like this in my arms. <laughs> That's so cute. You're adorable. <sighs> I'm so happy that you're safe and here with me. <laughs> just back with me. I'm not sick anymore. Just me and you in my room. <laughs> the door's locked, so no one's gonna walk in, okay? Don't worry. <sighs> and plus, I have my personal bodyguards outside um, making sure that nobody will barge in <laughs> don't worry just because you're in this business now doesn't mean no one's gonna get you cause I have you know I'll protect you and I won't ever let anything or anyone ever touch you Never. Because this, this is all mine. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. <laughs> now, now that you're fully awake now, um, I was gonna say, um, we could, um, go get something to eat, or get breakfast, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Alright, lovey. Um, let me call over my men to get it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, that's, it's on the way. <laughs> um, did you want a drink? Oh, of, of course, hold on. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <sighs> Don't worry, I got you now. <laughs> um, well... This is so much better than eating what you find on the streets now, right? You're here living with me. You got your own room. And you live in a huge house protected by a bunch of bodyguards. You got personal maids and butlers. Say, talk about a big step. <laughs> um... But, well, despite you having your own bed, you'd still like to take over my bed a lot. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean my bed's comfortable? We have the same mattress. We have the same bed set up. Right. Or is it because you just want an excuse to be closer to me? <laughs> oh, don't worry. You're not gonna go anywhere. No matter how long you think you're gonna stay, you're staying longer. Because there is no way in hell that you can repay off the debt that I've given you. <laughs> Because, well, you're my pet, and frankly, I may be soon to be my partner. <laughs> you're of great importance to the whole organization. You, you inspire me to keep going. You, you really do. <laughs> I know it sounds so cliche. <laughs> Anyways, um... Your breakfast and water is here. Here. Yeah. 
Here you go. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I'm glad. Would you like some more? No? Oh, okay, yeah. That's fine. Just want to make sure that you're fed and taken care of. <laughs> Such a shock. You don't usually eat really want to eat too much or drink a lot. Hmm. Is there um, a reason? Maybe you've had a change in mood or appetite? Because you're feeling more at home. <laughs> Calling this place home already. Well, I'll have you know that actually... Home would be wherever I am. Yeah? Because <laughs> you're not... Are you feeling comfortable in the house or with me? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I thought. <sighs> I'll make sure you get some proper food and drinks tomorrow, okay? But for later today, we can just, you know, we can just rest today. Because I know, especially me, I just got over a sickness, and despite you being close to me that whole time I was sick, I don't want you getting sick. So, just want to make sure. You want to cuddle? <sighs> Listen, that was only because I was sick. That was a one-time thing. Uh, excuse me, what's with you being so demanding? I'll have you know that I'm the one that picked you up. <sighs> Who am I fooling? <sighs> Come here. I'm not gonna lie that I didn't enjoy our um, cuddle session last time. <sighs> Good. I'll just lie here, and you can you can lie into my arms, okay? You can put your head against my chest and try to calm down. <laughs> I'll just gently stroke over your head. And it'll be okay. I promise. I really do. I really do care about you. So, so incredibly much. And I, I, I love you. You're so pretty to me and so important to me. And even a little... <laughs> Let's just say, tasty. <laughs> oh, what? Be quiet. Hmm. It's okay, though. Because in moments like these, I can... I can tell how much you really care about me. And it's that... That little face of yours, I... I can just see it, you know? It's cute little eyes of yours... They look up to me and ju ju they just say, take care of me. And I will. So you're going to be just fine. You'll be able to have a peaceful life here. With me. And much better than out there, if you know what I mean. On the streets, dealing with idiots and people who don't respect you. Well, here, I respect you. I love you, and I'm not idiot. <laughs> you know, you look so cute just staying in my chest, burying yourself here. You're too precious, you know. Really, really, I do love you a ton. And. Are you happy that you 
ended up here. I mean, of course you just got out of a very rough situation, but still, I'm curious. You are. I'm glad. I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm happy I ran into you. Yeah, you're like a really big deal to a lot of people around here, actually. You know, one of my guys actually told me that, um, you all chatted for a bit, and they really like you, and I'm very happy. Well, because they, you know, it helps with keeping you around and stuff. You know, that this means I can't really bring you to any events or parties anymore with, for at least, well, a while. <laughs> Well, because last time, somebody, Rachel, tried to take you from me, and I don't want that. <laughs> I know you liked it there, but I'm sorry, it's just too big of a risk now. Oh, come on, don't pout. We can, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll go shopping together later. Or something that would make up for it. Oh, you'd like that. Alright, well, I just came up with that on the spot, and I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Alright, well, hey, you seem a little sleepy. Um, I know it's middle of the day, but you in my arms, you getting kind of weak and sleepy here. <laughs> You're just comfortable. Alright, well, then how about you just stay comfortable and give yourself to me and fall asleep right here. Don't worry, I'll be here when you wake up. Okay? I promise. <sighs> Hi, sweetie. You decided to join me again. And you're still wearing that really pretty outfit I picked for you. It looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'm so glad we... Well, I bought those clothes for you. You genuinely shine in them. And you look so happy. And I'm glad to see that. I'm actually pretty tired, but... Yeah, we had the whole try-on and, you know... <sighs> well, then while I went ahead and did some negotiations... Yeah, I'll call them that, but, um, you know, just the usual, like, some things. Yeah, I know you're curious, but, you know, I can't tell you that stuff just yet. Alright, alright. But truthfully, you, you already saw too much, and know way too much. I don't want you to get hurt, okay? I think I've made that very clear. So I'm trying to keep you out of my business as much as I can. <laughs> you know, you're my break, so I don't want to involve you. And, well, any of it, really. But don't worry, I'll still take you to some of the parties you seem to enjoy so much. It's really cute. Hmm? It's late now. Yeah. Wait. You came all the way down here from your own room. So, why don't you just join me? For a second, at least. Just uh, a little company. You wouldn't mind that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Now, come play with me. <laughs> there you go. You know, when I first got you, you would have put up such a fuzz about such simple things, and I'm glad we passed that. <laughs> oh, now don't get an attitude because I pointed it out. You silly thing. Uh, sweetie, you, you know you can scoot a little closer. 
closer so you can lay under my arm. <laughs> Don't lay so stiff. Just relax, okay? Put one of your arms over me. There you go. And just put your head right there. Not on my shoulder. No, it's more comfortable on when your head's on my chest. Yeah, I just thought it would be. So, now just breathe in. And breathe out. <laughs> it's really nice to hold you and keep you warm under the blankets, especially with you here. And <laughs> oh man, you know that that <sighs> you smelled well good. <laughs> Whatever you have on it suits you perfectly, and I hope you like the smell of it too. <laughs> I mean, judging by how often you did decide to wear it, I'm assuming you do. Same goes for the outfits. I mean, after all, you picked some of it, so... Wouldn't be old if you didn't like it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it really matches you. I'm just getting on my ramble again. <laughs> um, You know, for that price, it... Better have been worth it. But if it was wasn't, I had many other choices. <laughs> yeah. You know, speaking of that, I know some very, very good tailors, and while I personally don't think I would mind having to take your body measurements. <laughs> don't worry, I'm just teasing. Relax. I mean, I don't think you'd mind either, right? It's quite relaxing, in my experience, just sitting there or standing and someone gently tracing your skin with a ruler. Yeah, there's no judgments, it's just taking the sizes for the clothes to fit you. It's very relaxing. Yeah, if you'd like, I'll... I'll just take you with me one day, and might have to get some new suits and some new clothing for you. Suits for me, and maybe something fitting for you. <laughs> Outside and inside. Yeah, I know <laughs> you don't see me often wear a suit, but I do own them. Some of, like, all the groups are a little more con conversative about them. So, uh, I like to keep my personal space. <laughs> well, depending on where I'm going, I'll decide to wear a, a suit or just casual clothes. It really does make an impression. I think it's very important. So... No. What's a word to what occasion? Um, that's why I pick what you wear whenever we go out. Because, to be very honest, I don't fully trust you picking the right thing. But, you know, maybe later on I'll give you some more freedom. When it comes to that, we'll see. It's been a long day for you too, though, hasn't it? Or have you just been sitting doing nothing again? Oh, no, it has been a long day. Right, right. <laughs> um, did you enjoy dinner tonight? I thought the chef did an amazing job. Well, you did too. <laughs> You, um, you still comfortable? I can feel your breath, I, against my neck. 
It's getting a little slower. So I'm assuming you're getting sleepy. Well, me too, actually. I don't think I'll fall asleep myself just yet, but I promise I won't move a muscle when you do. I'll just watch over you. Okay? <laughs> now just relax. And you go to sleep, alright? <laughs> you sleep well. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> Welcome back. So, how was the, um, first ever little business exchange you went to? Was it fun? I heard it was. It was quite beneficial. I'm glad. I assume all thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I trained you well. So, tell me, who is it that you spoke with at the uh, little arrangement? So, just the other bits? Oh, um, one, one more person. You said, huh? Okay. So, can you describe this other person to me? What kind of, so what kind of status? What kind of rank did this person have? I assume not higher than me, correct? Because, you know, this would all be a lower ranked meeting, alright? So not higher than me, naturally. Nonetheless, what kind of person decided to join in and talk with you? I assume it was in public with the rest of the group. They talked with you privately. Was there a reason for this interaction to happen to be private? They said they just wanted to talk. Obviously, that's all they... You were so naive to believe them. Huh. Did you think you'd get away with that? You know who you are, right? Do I have to keep fucking repeating this to you? You're mine. I picked you up and saved you off the street. Every fucking interview is mine. You're simply mine and mine alone. And because of that, I get to decide what happens to you, who talks with you, where you go, and if you think you can keep fucking testing me, you're going to lose it all then. You're going to lose all the privileges and the trust I gave you. Do you want me to put you back out on those damn streets? <sighs> yeah, I didn't think so. So you better behave. And tell me the name of this person. S so we can have, um, a civilized conversation. You understand that, right? <laughs> oh, come on. I promise I won't hurt them. Too much, I mean, I assume. You wore that necklace I gave you. You know, the one with the emeralds? So, they must have known who you belong to, right? I just want to know what went on in their head when they decided to see you and talk with you. Privately. What did you two even talking about? 
business. Business that couldn't have been discussed with others? <sighs> Obviously, that was some very important business. You know the rule, right? You shouldn't talk to anyone above your own status without my explicit permission. So I don't know why you thought you had the right to even open that damn mouth of yours. But you didn't. So for the next week, I think I'm gonna keep you in my room. You're not going outside. You're not going anywhere. Because you choose to misbehave. It's simple as that. Your actions have consequences, sweetie. Now for the last time, give me their name, and I'll be able to have a civilized talk. <sighs> really? Do I have to keep... was them. <laughs> okay, I see. And then it was really just, just business you guys were talking about. <laughs> and business that couldn't have been discussed with the others. It, it just had to be in private, only you two. I mean, they saw your necklace, they saw who you belong to. <laughs> right. Who do you belong to? <laughs> That's right. Me. And don't fucking forget it. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, I'm still a little sick, but uh, I called off on a lot of my jobs today. So it's just gonna be me and you again. <laughs> yeah. Just us tonight. No. No. I'll be fine. Ugh, it's gonna take a lot more than this to stop me from moving around. What? Uh, excuse me? Are you telling me what to do? <laughs> I'll get in that bed when I decide to. Well... <sighs> I'm only getting in because I want to, not because you told me to. Okay? Maybe I should get you a bigger bed. The bed's nice and all, but it's not big enough for both of us, that is. But, you know, we could move to my bed. Uh, no? Why? You don't want to move the blankets? Why? Oh... <laughs> you know, you could have told me that before you wanted me to come under the blankets with you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Even though you are mine, 
I'll I'll keep my hands to myself. Don't worry. <laughs> Plus I wouldn't want to get you sick again. <sighs> Yes. <laughs> oh, you. You're really hard. Amazing. And. Beautiful. Y you know, that actually reminds me. Um. Wanted to talk about you. Or talk to you about some things. You know, you've kind of been settling in here recently, and you've been doing good in the, in your jobs, and you've been good to me, and I've been good to you. Maybe more than, we can be more than just me owning you. That doesn't mean you still don't owe me. Your debt is still unfulfilled. You still owe a lot to me. But I'm just saying, maybe we can take another step. <laughs> yes, I know the cuddling and the occasional kisses and flirting I give you. But, just a heads up, I want you. Not that you're already mine. I want you. <laughs> Why are you getting all red for? <laughs> Don't worry. Soon, when I'm uh, when I'm not sick, I'll take you out. We can go to wherever you want. Any restaurant, any country. Just me and you. Okay. And maybe a few guards. Don't want you getting snatched from me, do I? And you don't want that either. I know that for sure. But, here, um, come a little closer. So you're laying your head on me. I. <laughs> there you go. You're in. Warm and <laughs> soothing having you here with all the stress of this job and this work. It's good. You're like you're like a reliever whenever I'm around you. You take away a lot of my stress and pain. That's why I picked you. And that's why I am so possessive and care careful around you. <laughs> You're stuck with me. And I'm glad. As soon as I saw you, I... I knew I needed to have you. I needed to have you, I needed to keep you all to myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're cute. You're adorable. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Maybe when I'm not sick, I can show you a bit more. Yeah? 
but I really, really do. I, I love you. I do. <laughs> hey, could you look up at me real quick? There you go. That's all you get. <laughs> now go back to bed. I'll, I'll hold you. And I'll stay here for as long as you want. <laughs> Good night.